Well, hello everyone, my name's Clint Boone, and I'm on the set of the new season of the 330 Bloopers, and this is it, season 4, what are we going to do to this series right here, now that we are in our new home, at the Hard Rock Hotel, in Catoosa, Oklahoma. Behind me is our new set, in which we've put the frame into our new deck, as well as new colorful LED lights, that are now brighter than ever. Season 4, not just one camera shot, but multiple, just like you've never experienced before here in this web series, which has been on YouTube since late November of 2017. Also, we've got this new Ultra HD monitor mounted on the wall behind me, displaying slides via a computer running Microsoft Windows 10. And as you know, that this set is based on the classic late 1960s, early 1970s look NBC used before going into syndication, six years after it premiered on NBC in 1969, and a year after it ended its run in 1974. It was mainly set in the Exchange Center West building in South Tulsa, and I mean, it looked really great there, because it had all the old material, not like what we have now, so who knows. So now, let's talk about our new set. Below the monitor is a deck containing three LED lights that light up red, blue, and green since the blue color replaced yellow from the VOK Tower version now that it's all LED colors. Red signals that the blooper is incorrect. Blue signals that you as a video operator are in the need of contacting Miles Neff or our newest member, Roy Samuelson. And finally, green signals that the blooper is correct. These change every once in a while, so please be aware of that. Remember, there will be new camera shots all around our control room, and more new ones will come in as this season moves along, which will be placed all around the casino's lobby, as well as non-smoking game rooms, poker rooms, and others. And we want to remind you that lighting is playing a huge factor new to this season, so please be aware of that as well. New variations of Try Again are also new to this season of the 330 bloopers. These include my favorite television station, KTRU, Macromedia, and NAV Television Code Seal of Good Practice from WJLA in 1980. Plus, we've still got Mr. Pinheel and, of course, Seinfeld. Funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the financial support from viewers like you. Oh, wait, don't forget Pac-Man in there too, you know. Hi everyone, I'm Amy, and I'm going to be your host today. Now, what is Mr. Pinheel up to? You, Mr. Boone, are a hatchback. Mr. Polish, what are you guys doing here in this brand spanking new control room when I'm doing this behind the scenes video? <laughs> Mr. Polish, Miles Neff, you need Miles Neff in this new control room while the 330 Looper Season 4 is coming to Katusa, Oklahoma. Well then what's the TC in place of my head? Look out! Emily's coming after us any minute! Hi everyone! I'm Emily, and I'm going to be your host today! Funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and the financial support from viewers like- Darren Polish, you guys, one in the TC, abbreviated television code, have the right to refuse service to Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tulsa, and if you dare try to invert colors again, I will kick you out of the casino. Understand? 
Miles Neff, you abandoned your command post just an hour ago, so don't put too much pressure on that Disney on Ice host. How dare you? Invert the colors when they told you guys not to. For the sake of Emily Pesca, do not do that again. Understand. And Mr. Pinheel, what have I told you last season on the 330 bloopers? You need to go to CVS. Home of the price is right. CVS, Mr. Pinheel, not the 330. Get out of here. Now. <laughs> And Emily Pesca, Emily Pesca, please get back to Disney on Ice. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, and I'm going to be your host today. Emily, 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 you get back to Disney on Ice. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, and I'm going to be your host today. Emily. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, and I'm going to be your host today. I said, get back to Disney on Ice. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? This is the public address announcer speaking. By the authorization of Nick Jr. and Playhouse Disney, this control room does not need to invert colors unless further notice. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily, and I'm going to be your host today. But, on second thought... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your second half of Gold Entertainment's Disney R Us will begin in three minutes. Three minutes. Well, looks like we have a second plan though. First, you defeated the face of Nick Jr., then you defeated Clay from Playhouse Disney, and finally you defeated Emily Elizabeth, even though you thought these three are just a joke. I agree public address announcer, but no. It is not a joke, and I would think, because of all that that you've seen in your childhood, that these three are all your final answer. And you put that pinwheel on there, Mr. Pinwheel that is, public address announcer, you blame it on Nick Jr. and Playhouse Disney and PBS Kids, and finally, Miles Neff, public address announcer, you get it straight, or I will challenge you to who wants to be a millionaire. Ain't that your final answer? Hi everyone, I'm Emily, and I'm going to be your host today. Miles Smith. So now, there you have it. That's gonna do it for us here in this behind-the-scenes look at the 330 Looper Season 4. 
The new season kicks off Sunday, March 10th, and we're gonna be at Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tulsa every week, so be there on YouTube and on your local NBC station. Taping begins Wednesday, February 27th, so from everyone here at NBC Productions, a Comcast company, thanks for watching.